What's up guys, Jeff Van Note, mortgage quarterback. It's October 10th, 2018. I want to give you guys a rundown of what's going on in the marketplace for both mortgages and real estate and give you guys some projections and opinions that I have. Um, the first thing you want to do is actually know what's going on in the market. Uh, interest rates are rising. Average rate is about 5% on a 30-year fixed rate right now. Um, if you know anybody looking to take out a mortgage, definitely advise them to take out a fixed rate for as long as possible. I do believe rates will settle in here. Um, if not tick up higher, I do not see them dropping uh, back down in the low 4% range anytime soon. Um, unfortunately, that's what the news is, but it is what it is. You gotta still work with the facts and those numbers. Uh, we have to deal with what's reality and not what's you know hopeful fantasy. Um, unfortunately, if interest rates do go up, everything else in the world goes up. Uh, all your debt payments are going to go up if you have credit cards, loans, anything like that, um, unless you're fixed into a rate. As you know, the cost goes up, unfortunately, consumer spending will decrease because more money will be applied to repaying the debt. Um, I hate to say this, but this beautiful city behind us, known as New York City, I think is in for, unfortunately, um, big problems ahead. I think the rental market is going to be... Uh, vacant for quite some time. You are already started to see rental prices drop Unfortunately to big numbers uh, big discounts have been provided by landlords um, There's a whole new wave of brand new luxury condos inventory coming to Brooklyn I know and you know with the option in New Jersey now and all the transportation That's much easier to get to New York City a lot of people are coming over to this side of the Hudson um, and look at these beautiful views, you know, so you can come over here to New Jersey and get these views for half the price of Brooklyn. Um, it's obviously causing a downturn in the Brooklyn and Queens market as well, as all these developers and builders are putting up additional units. So keep your eye out for some deals. Um, I do think you're going to start to see a lot more of short sales and foreclosures come back to the marketplace. You have to think. If in 2006 and 7 people drove the market up to let's just say an average price point of $2.5 million at a 65 to 7% rate, um, in today's market the average price point is let's say $3.5 million which is about again 50% higher than where it was call it you know, 10 years ago and interest rates were at 35 to 4% half the actual cost to borrow. And granted New York City and Manhattan you know, beat to their own drum but Listen, at the end of the day, you know, everyone's getting hit hard um, with the market. So I do think that if you're a realtor right now, you need to be realistic with your sellers. Um, if you could sell the property for right now and they're still seeing a profit, sell and get out. If you can sell your property today for profit, I'm telling you right now, you need to sell and get your money and either sit in cash or put it into another investment that's going to perform well. Because, you know, what's ahead based on the new tax laws and based on the amount of people that, you know, just can't afford to live anymore due to the cost of living, um, I do think we're going to see a lot of new inventory hitting the market. The carrying costs are going to be too high between the taxes, the common charges, the maintenance of the property. It's just not going to make sense to hold anymore. Um, so, again, granted, Manhattan is kind of like, you know, it's all in rule of thumb. I do think people are going to start selling their properties and the more properties that come to market, um, it's going to exceed the amount of buyers for these high-end luxury properties. As far as the actual luxury market goes, I believe any property under $800,000 right now is safe, it's protected. Um, obviously the lower you go, the safer you are as more people can afford affordable housing and living, um, which I deem real estate at or under $500,000 and still expensive that's gonna weather the storm much better than the properties north of $800,000. Um, so keep all these things in mind. Again, mortgage rates are over 5% right now. I do believe that the majority of the people that bought, again, in this beautiful city, unfortunately, in the past three, five, seven, and 10 years have taken out adjustable rate mortgages to try and be greedy, um, which listen, at the end of the day, they're gonna make out for that time frame to have lower payments, but now when their adjustable rate mortgages or arms do reset, the payments are gonna be probably double, if not even triple, depending on where they lock their rate into um, and what type of loan product they took out. Listen, I think there are scary times ahead. The key is to weather the storm. Um, don't make any rash decisions. Um, I built my business starting in December 2007 at age 20. Uh, there were no deals to be had when I got into the business. Everything was a short sale, everything was a foreclosure, um, no banks were lending money, and I had to go out there 
boss my butt day in and day out and I dedicated the last decade of my life building up business, learning the business, learning the markets and servicing my clients to make sure not only did they get the best deal in the market, but the best deal for their own personal needs. So as the market does slow down, desperation will come back in. Um, people will be cutting your throat left and right as that usually happens in a very, very scarce market of deals. Um, the key is just sit tight, always do the right thing, go out, form relationships, don't buy leads. Now more than ever, it's more important to form relationships. You're better off with one relationship that you meet per day face to face than 10, 15, 20, 30 leads that you get on a weekly basis that are just shopping around for services, right? So become the go-to guy, go-to girl, become the local market expert, and make a name for yourself for delivering the most accurate information and provide the education consumers need in order to make the most financially secure decision. Uh, with that said, if you know anybody looking for coaching, uh, any type of consulting work, business, financial, real estate, uh, please keep me in mind. We will charge some type of per hour service fee. Um, but listen, the key is to know the right information so you can tell your clients the right information. Other than that, just be safe. Uh, move a lot of your money in the stock market to cash. It's better to be safe than sorry. I watched a lot of people in 2007, 2008 and on um, lose a very large portion of their retirement. And when they panicked because the market was down 40 to 50%, they sold out uh, in panic mode and they never made that money back. So let's play it safe. Sometimes the best deal is no deal. And if the numbers don't make sense, don't do the deal. So I hope you enjoyed this little uh, video on what the market conditions are, where I see the market heading. Um, just sit tight. And if you know anybody that has additional capital that is looking to get in either into the real estate or hard money world, we're happy to have a conversation so we can explain to you our new hard money institutional platform that we launched. You could also go to tradexrealty.com, which you can learn information about what we're doing. Uh, we do believe that alternate financing is going to be a major component in the market for the next 18 to 36 months. Um, as banks begin to stop lending again, interest rates rise, and banks do experience losses, the key is to have cash on the sideline in order to lend to help people not only complete their real estate projects, but have successful real estate projects from day one. We're not in the business just to make money. We're in the business to both make money and help people make money. All right? So remember, always get in the game, and I'm here all the time.